Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303, and today we got a quick look at these bad boys right here. This is one of the cleanest Jordan team shoes I have seen in a long time. This guy right here was sent over by Champ Sports, so big thank you to Champs, and it is called the Jordan Academy. Now right off the bat, they look a little bit like the Yeezy 2, at least in my opinion. Maybe it's just me, but for whatever reason, this molded heel area and then the mesh upper just screams Yeezy to me, along with the fact that they use this kind of like retro looking tooling. Now a lot of the newer generation doesn't like Team Jordans for one reason or another, whatever that reason is, it's none of my business. However, my generation grew up with the origination of the team shoe, and if these dropped when I was in high school, I would have grabbed these no problem, as long as I would have been able to afford them. Which is what the team shoe originally was. You had the top tier Jordan line, 150, 125-ish, depending on the shoe. A lot of us couldn't afford that, so they dropped the price down to 110, and they released a bunch of dope sneakers, the Vim Baker Jordans, the Jumpman Pro Strong, Eddie Jones's Jumpman Pro Quick, the original Jordan team shoe, the Jumpman Pro, and the list can go on. There was a lot of great shoes back then. None of them skimped out on the tech like they do now. You were able to grab a Jordan brand shoe with Jordan branding, which was the most important part, and they featured everything that the signature line actually had, whether it be full length zoom, heel and forefoot zoom, carbon fiber shanks, full grain leather uppers. I mean, it was amazing back then. I'm telling you, back then, when I was a kid, the sneakers were beasts. And these guys right here remind me of those, so that's why I like them so much. And no, this is not because I got them sent for free. I get a bunch of stuff from Champs, and half the time you guys don't see it because most of it's trash. But these right here, I like these. Surprisingly enough, I f***ing like these. Again, they look kind of like a Yeezy, but you know, it is what it is. The thing that I really like about these, because I've seen them in other colors, is this particular colorway. There's some other cool ones that are gray and you know other colors and stuff. I can't remember what they were. But for whatever reason, I really like the black look with that kind of like a tan interior. Just looks like a premium shoe or like a really nice casual shoe. As far as the tech specs are concerned, we have a Phylon midsole with a heel air unit. So even though the midsole here looks like the Air Jordan 3, this is actually 10 times more comfortable. This is like the difference between an Air Jordan 3 retro and an Air Jordan 11 retro. There's just like a night and day difference. These are way more comfortable than those. And here you go with the outsole. Something that I think is actually interesting is that this section right here in the heel and then this little section right here at the forefoot along with the little pivot point, those are the only real pieces of rubber on the outsole. The rest of these, like all this area and all of this is part of the actual uh, midsole. So it's all foam. Very similar to a Roshi run as far as their actual build, but these guys actually have some rubber on them. You have synthetic leather along the eye stay along with some Jordan branding, Jordan on the tongue and on the heel and then the upper is like a really nice soft mesh I absolutely love that and again they just look super clean in my opinion they do fit true to size for anyone wondering if you are interested in them I will leave a link in the description box below but a lot of the sneaker heads today are kind of snobby and they only like retros even though they have no idea what that even means most of them call actual OG Jordans retros just because they only think that an original looking shoe is a retro even if it's not but anyways for a new shoe this is actually pretty dope, at least in my opinion. I would like to know what you guys think about them. If you do like them, let me know why. And if you don't like them, be specific as to why you don't like them. Don't just say, oh, they're trash. So thank you guys for watching. Thanks for all your support. And until next time, guys, have a good one. Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303, and today we got a quick look at these guys right here. This is the Prime Knit edition of the D-Row 7. Big shout out to my homie Hess Kicks. He's the one that got me these. I paid for them, but he was able to scoop them up for half off over at the Adidas Employee Store. So when you're saving money, it's always good look. Now, as most of you guys know, I already did a performance review on this guy right here. This is the D-Row 7, but the regular versions. Now, a lot of people are labeling these poor man's Yeezys or smart man's Yeezys. Just kind of depends on how you look at it. Either way, I think it's a fresh look. I do like the way that these look a lot more than Yeezys. The 750 boost to be more specific. I think that the 750s look kind of like an UGG boot and all that stuff. It's just something about them looks super weird to me. To me, these just look more like a streamlined sneaker 